Now that we've converted the Jeep Liberty over to a Toad, we're going to show you how we actually hook it up to the RV. We use the Ready Brute Tow Bar. Uh, it's used in conjunction with the Ready Brake, which is a surge braking system. The hookup itself, here and here, hook into the base plate. Uh, besides safety cables, which I've taken off just for clarity so you can see everything, uh, you have three hookups. You have the uh, breakaway. On the other end of that, uh, it hooks to a cable that is attached to the RV. That way there, if for some reason this was to break, then this cable would activate, it would pull, and it would turn the brake on on the Liberty, and it would make it so that it just would not move anymore, making it a little bit easier than having a runaway vehicle behind you, smashing into you. The braking system itself for the ready brake, this cable here attaches to a cable that goes to the brake pedal. Uh, we showed in that video how that works. And then that comes up to this unit here. And this is how the surge brake actually works. Let me turn it so it's a little more clearer. Let's just say that right here is where you're connected to the RV. If you notice in here, it's oblonged out. As the pin goes through, it's going to allow a plunger on the inside to activate every time the brakes work. So this is where the RV hooks up. When you step on the brakes, the vehicle is going to actually come towards the RV. So as it pushes it in, it will activate this lever, which is a surge brake, and it will pull it forward. As it does that, it will pull this cable, which is attached to the brake pedal inside the Liberty. The simplicity of it is just amazing. Um, and it's cheaper than the other systems that we looked at. So that's it in a nutshell. Now we'll move on to hooking the Liberty up to the RV. As you can see, we mounted the Ready Brute to the RV now. Uh, and as you can also see, it comes with a holder, so it keeps this out of the way, so you can actually move the RV without it dragging. To unlock it, you just lift forward, pop it up, and then just spread it out. So now, as you notice, the safety cables are already attached, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but underneath here, then this cable right here is attached to the frame of the RV. And the breakaway is attached to that. Okay, the first thing we do when we're preparing to hook the Liberty on, onto the RV is we pull the pins, we turn this lever, and we extend the ready brute out as far as it will go. Do the same on both sides. Then the Liberty will pull forward and we'll hook it up. So what we do now is we lift up, we align it, stick the pin through, and secure it. Once the tow bar is attached to the base plate, then you need to take these levers, put them into the lock position so when the vehicle is backed up, it should lock in. And there you go, that's locked in. Okay, next step is you wanna hook in the ready brake itself. So you have an assistant step on the brake. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Release. Okay, ready brake is hooked up. Next thing we'll be hooking up will be the breakaway. And it's as simple as that. Okay, next we'll be hooking up the safety cables. It is advised that you crisscross them, meaning this one is now on the driver's side but it is hooked to the passenger side of the RV. And then just hook up the other one. Safety cables are hooked up. Okay, and the last step is to hook up the lights. Now just test the lights and we're ready to roll. So we're going to check the lights. We have the lights are on. Brake lights, hazards, left blinker, right blinker. So to put the Liberty in towing mode, we are going to depress the brake pedal and turn the ignition switch to on run with the engine still off. We need to shift the transmission into neutral. It just popped. 
And then we hold down this little pin for four seconds. You'll hear the transmission move into neutral. So once that's complete, you're gonna start the engine. You're going to shift into drive and ensure that the vehicle will not move. Shut off the engine. Shift the transmission into park and take out the key. Now off we go.